Well, now that the cat is out of the bag and we all know that smart meters emit dangerous radiation and spy on people's personal activities inside their homes, it seems a bit odd that the power companies are still pretending they don't do that. I guess they're not familiar with the term criminal liability. Maybe they've had their heads too close to their smart meters for a little too long. Now, you might be one of those people who would sue your power company after they make your family sick from radiation, spy on you, jack up your electric bill for using your washing machine at the wrong time of day, and randomly shut off your appliances to balance their grid load stresses. But this video is for people who like to prevent those kinds of things from happening to them in the first place. This video will demonstrate the option of replacing your smart meter with a safe and sane analog meter. We're not saying this is lawful, safe, or practical, but many people are looking for options, and this may be one of them. It's true, you can buy your very own safe analog electric meter. In fact, you can find a special kit to replace your smart meter at the website called freedomtaker.com. Will the power company like you replacing their meter? Well, if the only way they can be happy is to try to give you a meter that pollutes your home with carcinogenic electrotoxins and violates federal wiretapping laws, I guess they won't be happy because a lot of people are not going to sit still for that. Let's see, do I want to protect my family's health and privacy or make my power company happy? Yeah. You're about to see some people changing their own electric meter, but these people are experienced in the construction industry. Certainly, most people would need to hire a qualified electrician to do the meter swap fandango. A mishap with house current can be both embarrassing and fatal. Smart meters violate the law and they violate your power company's easement by emitting radiation on your property and monitoring personal activities in the home. But if you intend to remove the meter, you must take a very important legal step of informing your power company that the meter violates the law and must be removed. That legal notice document comes with the Freedom Taker kit. It's five pages long and is a powerhouse of legal karate chops. Fill it out, get it notarized, send it certified mail, and watch grown men cry. The kit includes instructions for both mailing the notice and physically replacing the meter. Once you send them this notice, they should understand that the only lawful way a smart meter can be used is as a jello mold. The power company will bully you and tell you they have an easement or right of access. You can tell them they have an easement for an analog meter. They do not have an easement or consent for a radiation emitting surveillance device. The power companies seem to be living in a pretend world they have made for themselves. They have the mentality that they could put a hand grenade on the side of your house and you would have no right to object. You can't have a rational conversation with people like that. If they don't want to admit that smart meters are dangerous and invasive, it is better to just put the power company on notice and take your own corrective action as I will show you now. Please talk to an electrician and an attorney before considering these actions. So let's say you've sent the legal notice from the meter replacement kit at freedomtaker.com. You have given the power company a reasonable amount of time, three to four weeks, to do the right thing, and they refuse or fail to replace your smart meter with an analog meter in a timely manner. Now we can put the formalities aside and get down to the meter yanking. Again, this is business for an electrician or someone who knows how to stay out of the way of high voltage doodads. So I'm speaking now to your electrician. You get the analog meter out of the kit and head over to the service panel. To prevent tampering and vandalism, many electric meters have locks on the mounting ring. Some electricians have keys to these. Most locksmiths do not. This is your biggest problem. Nobody has a right to lock something on your home that emits radiation and spies on you. This lock must go. The legal notice in the Freedom Taker kit actually cites laws and statutes that the smart meter violates, and that gives the homeowner the right to remove the smart meter by any means necessary. That does not mean forcing, pounding, or levering on the electric panel or the smart meter. That will simply break things and electrocute you. You must be gentle, delicate, and competent, and use the proper tools. 
you should avoid anything like this that may cause collateral damage and create an electrical hazard. Let's just say you found a way to safely remove the lock. To replace your meter, you will have to shut off your power to the house, so go in the house and shut down your computers and make sure that no harm will come to anything or anyone from a power outage at the service panel. The most important thing to do is shut off the main breaker switch in the service panel so there's no electrical current flowing from the meter into the home. This is absolutely critical. If you're not sure that current to the house has been shut off, do not proceed. You might even want to flip off all the individual line breakers just to be sure. But this is no time to relax. Even with everything shut down, you are not safe from live current. There is no way to shut off the current coming from the power pole right into your service panel, and that's the highest voltage. This is serious business. With the main power switch shut off, look at the smart meter and write down the readings from the digital display. Again, the meter itself is still powered by the incoming current. So this is how you will prove to the electric company that you're not trying to steal electricity. Be careful to get these numbers accurately. The digital display will blink and cycle through three or four displays every few seconds. Copy every number that comes up. If you miss one, it will repeat again and again. Get them all and save those numbers to give to the power company when you return the meter. That way they cannot say you're trying to steal electricity. Now you're about to expose some live high voltage contacts. At this point, please have all bystanders and sugar jacked children go far away. Assuming you gently and safely remove the ring lock, remove the stiff metal locking ring by expanding the ring and sliding it over the meter. These rings are very strong, so brush up on all your cuss words before you do this. Save all the parts for your power company gift basket. There are four stiff prongs and sockets in the back of the meter. Basically, the whole meter just plugs in. Once again, being totally sure the electricity is shut off, simply remove the meter by firmly pulling the top of the meter toward you, then pull the bottom and pull the meter free of the mounting panel. Don't rock the meter side to side if you can avoid it. It may jam the prongs and make removal more difficult. Keep every part of your body and every loose object well away from those sockets. As soon as you remove the smart meter, you will simply plug in your new analog meter in the same logical position. Carefully hold the analog meter vertically and align it with the mounting sockets. Hold the bottom in a little closer than the top. Feel the fit to determine that the prongs are aligned with the sockets. Press the bottom in and then follow quickly with the top. Then apply firm overall pressure until you're sure the meter is seated fully and deeply in the sockets. Again, don't pound on the meter. Your freedomtaker.com meter replacement kit includes a mounting ring. Fasten the mounting ring at the base of the meter. Now turn the main power switch back on and turn on any breakers that were turned off. Unless some of your appliances come back on, you may not see any reading or motion in the analog meter immediately. To check that, you can go turn a few things on inside the house and come back out and look at the meter. In an analog meter, there is no digital screen, so you will see the wheel spin to verify operation. You want to return the smart meter to the power company as soon as possible. Attach a note to the smart meter to identify the address from which it was taken and the date and approximate time it was removed. Include that note you made with the numbers you copied from the smart meter display just before you removed it. Now it would be very wise to take pictures of everything you're sending back to the power company so you can prove you've done everything correctly. Also photograph your newly installed analog meter in case they come and mess with it. Expect some sort of intimidating bluster from your power company at some point. You may need to rebut them with your evidence. Back up and save those photos in a safe place. If your power company starts to make up stories about improper installation, damage to their equipment, or theft of electricity, your evidence, photos, and records will be all you have to protect yourself. As soon as possible, return that meter and all parts to your electric company in a way that later you can prove it was delivered to them. If you have a packing and shipping store or a UPS store nearby, they will safely pack the meter for shipping. Save the tracking slip. 
Keep that with the, the uh, mail receipts and your notice that you sent to the power company some weeks earlier. Put it all in a file together and keep it in a safe place. If you get the safe electric meter replacement kit from freedomtaker.com, you can now top off the installation by clipping on the smart meter refusal warning tag so your power company will owe you a bunch of money if they mess with your analog meter. Now you may enjoy the privacy, safety, and health you had before your power company changed all that with a smart meter.